we're in. We're going. I've uh, I've managed to snag old Ben Mills here, the uh, Chester striker and newest member of the Blues live commentary team as well. Joined us recently. We uh, we stopped off at the Holiday Inn with the with the players' coach. It's a more swish stop than uh, the hip kiss. Look at We've got flowers and everything. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, how are we feeling about today, Ben? Were you pr- prepared after the week off? Yeah, good. We uh, nice and relaxed as ever, and um, got some good food in, so we've got good preparation. Just make our way to the ground and, uh, and just do the usual routine in terms of getting prepared and ready for the game. So how do you prepare for a, for a game like this? Obviously, with uh, Premier League players and everything, you've got videos of, uh, of the people you're coming up against. I mean, often there's not going to be those sort of resources available for a lower league club. So do you know much about Corby, or is this just about turning up and playing our game? No, um, the gaffer's um, normally good, and Alex, you know, tends to have a good sort of um, report on you know their strengths and areas that weak, weak, weak sorry. Um, so the gaffer will sort of give us a, a bit of a chat, so it's best to the lads who started in terms of the way we're going to shape up and you know how we want us to play. Um, but that'll be nearer when we get to the ground and you know when we're all settled and we've got the kit out of things. So we have uh, Geisley with the draw in midweek. Um, means that they're now four points off if they win all their games in hand, which seems to be the calculation that all the fans are doing. Are the players interest in themselves with that, or is it just a case of keep winning and guys lose form won't matter? I think um, you know, people would be lying if, if they said they didn't look at the table, but it's, it's the same old, we've got to concentrate on us. If we keep putting points on the board, you know, it gets more and more difficult for them. Um, and it piles of pressure on moment in time we've got the upper hand, we're the ones in the driving seat and you know we've got our destiny in front of us we, we can control what, what's going on so we're in a good position, we've got to stay focused now for the last little running. Corby down the bottom of the table, uh, it's fourth from bottom I think it is but um, only managed to overcome them in the in the last minute at the exacta um, against ten men so no room for complacency against these teams. Not at all, I mean um, every, every team in this league is capable of beating another team. Um, We've just got to remain focused and approach it as we would any other game. Um, you know, we can only take three points from this game as we could against any of our rivals, so it's just as important in our eyes. And uh, confident that we're going to see the Mills bot today? Hopefully, if selected, we'll uh, see what we can do. When, when do you learn about the team? Is that, is that a last-minute sort of thing with we'll, Neil? Norm, we'll normally get into the dressing room. Um, oh, yeah. When it's away games... Um, Obviously, we need to prepare and get the kit out and things, and, and give calf, calf time set up. Uh, you know, if there's room for a physio bed, so we'll drop our bags. We'll go out and have a little wander around the pitch, and then um, you know we'll come in in about 15 minutes, have a little chat, and then you know Gaffer does his thing, lets you know about who's playing, uh, the opposition, um, you know, and how, how we're going to set up for the day. Um, and then we've sort of got 20, 25 minutes to, to you know our own time to get dressed, get prepared, and then we'll go out for the warm up together. Um, the lads that are starting obviously coming a little bit earlier and the lads who are on the bench or not involved will do their work just while uh, while they're going in and then kick off. And all desperate to play of course. Yeah, I mean there's, there's we've said before there's competition all over the pitch, um, there's players that are more than capable of stepping in um, and it keeps people on their toes, the gaff has shown he's not scared to change it up, um, which is good for everyone really. Cheers man. Alright.